Hi folks, I'd like to show you my latest addition to the homemade workshop tools. Um, I'll show you what we've got. We've got a, a magnetic polisher. Um, as you can see when you put the tub in there, the magnets excite the pins in there, which get revolved round and round and round and gently brush against the item being polished. In this case it's a, um, a Greek cross that I made earlier, so I'm just putting finishing touches to that. Um, it, it consists of um, an old wire reel. Um, I'll show you the top here. So just simply cut off the top of the reel <coughs> and then insert the mortar and the insert the support inside there. So what we'll do, we'll uh, just pause the video for a second and we'll take the disc off the top and I'll show you what we've got inside. With the disc removed, um, you can see inside there we've got a, an electrical mortar which is AC. Um, which I um, salvaged from a, a zero two model Dyson household Hoover. Um, you can pick these up for about twelve pound on eBay, so they're relatively cheap to buy. Um, the disc itself was uh, salvaged out of an old bottom of an old aluminium frying pan, to which I've uh, fastened four quite strong permanent magnets to that. Um, the magnets were off eBay. Um, I'll put the links to these later so you can find them. Um, the actual mortar is actually mounted to a, a plywood disc inside there which just then just slides in and then they're spaced up from the bottom um, using um, a wooden spacer on the bottom side of the mortar. Um, the actual pot came off eBay as well, they're about £4. It's a, it's a food container. Um, and they have um, a sealable lid that goes on top um, and I was lucky in this and it actually fits perfectly inside the, inside the cylinder that I uh, selected earlier um, the uh, really really lucky that um, so all in all it's a, a fairly cheap item to make um, the power source for it is a, a standard Variac you can pick these up for about anywhere from Forty to hundred pounds on eBay. If you look around, and in case this one is actually a brand new one, which is about hundred pounds, and because it's an AC motor, you can actually use the Variac as a, as a speed controller as well. This one's set at about twenty-four volts or something to give you a nice even speed, but you can speed and and slow it down using that item. A very very handy item to have, which we recommend anybody to have. So I'll put the disc back in and uh, turn it back on again and I'll explain a few more things. Everything back together there now. So we'll, uh, we'll turn on the Variac which will uh, give you about 24 volts at a nice medium speed. Slowly builds up slowly. Let's just turn it up a little bit. It's about the right speed. You don't want it to go too fast, otherwise the pins don't um, hit the item as well. It seems, it seems to do a better job if you um, run it at a slower speed rather than a higher speed. As you can see there, the, the water's slowing down a little, so you turn up the variant slightly to counteract that. And that's about the right speed that you need to be going there. Those pins are hitting the, the silver item there thousands and thousands of times a minute, which gives you a, a, not an ultra shine, but um, like a, a matte shine. And to help things smooth things over, make it go slightly better, what I do is I just put a couple of drops of Johnson's baby shampoo in there, and you literally only need a couple of blobs. That's about just about what you need, and when you when you do put that in, it makes it go a lot smoother as well, and that's as a, a, a cleaning agent as well. So as you can see there, it's running about just about the right speed there, and uh, you've got the lid to put on top. It actually takes the sound right down. 
So you could work with that, you know, quite happily on your workbench in the corner without it getting on your nerves. Um, oh, the really, really handy, highly recommended item for the jeweler's workshop. As you can see there, it's running round just, just right. Um, total cost to make that was around about £25. But the container came free, the mortar came free, the disc inside came free, um, the magnets were bought and the stainless steel pins were bought. So it works out about £25 to buy that. Um, you know, very, very valuable machine and does a very, very, very good job. So we'll turn it off. Um, the item of jewellery has been in there um, for a good half an hour or so. So I'll take it out. It was pretty grotty when it first went in. But you can see the kind of shine that you get left behind if I dry it off slightly. And you get a really, really nice finish. It's not an ultra shine, but it's um, good enough to, to wear straight away. You, you need to do no more polishing to that. So there's no more, no more messy um, polishes and dirty rags. Um, top job. So hope you've enjoyed it. Um, thanks for looking, and uh, I'll put the links into the the explanation to where I got the parts from, so you could have a go yourself. Thanks for looking. Bye for now.